Well, we are joined on the Rawhide pregame show today by Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson. Doesn't really need much of an introduction. Well, Ricky, first of all, I know you get all kinds of interview requests, so thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, let's start at the beginning with you. I'm curious, who first introduced you to the game of baseball? <laughs> I probably say, you know, mainly my brother probably introduced me to the game of baseball because I was a, such a diehard football player, and, uh, you know, I loved the football, and, and he loved the baseball, so when baseball season come, he used to drag me out to, the, to, to play catch and, and play, you know, play baseball with him. And so I had to diverse to do the other thing to put him on the football field. So I think that's how I got attached to being able to be a baseball player. You're one of very few successful major leaguers who threw left-handed and batted right-handed. How did that happen? <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, you know, and you're on the baseball field, and uh, you know, all the kids is, is, is throwing right-handed or they batting right-handed. Not, not, not so much of throwing, but they get up to the plate and they're on the right side. And I thought it was a little odd because mo all the kids was really right-handed. I thought it was a little odd for me to try some, another side. So I got on the right side and, and seemed like I developed to hit on the right side, and never really thought about that I was a left-hand hitter. We're talking with Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson on the Rawhide pregame show. Now, you were an All-American running back in high school, and you had dozens of scholarship offers for football. So do you think you could have been a Hall of Famer in football if you'd gone that route? <laughs> you know, in, in your heart and playing and being a sport, I think I was, I was chosen a pick to be an athlete. So, you know, I, I played the game of uh, football with a lot of passion and heart, just like I you know, took it on the baseball field. So if I went out and played the game the, the way I played the baseball, I probably think I could, would have been in the Hall of Fame, too, if I would have came, wouldn't have came up with any kind of type of injury. And so what made you choose baseball, though? Uh, you know, it was a choice. That, you know, it was a choice between the football and baseball, and, and, and I, I, get, I turned it over to my mother to make a decision on which way I should go. Or should I go to college on a, a full ride, go to college to play football, or I was drafted to go into pro to play baseball? So she decided that she, I was a little too small that she felt to be a football player because she was seeing all the football players with all them big tack but shoulder pads and they, she thought they were gigantic so she didn't want her little baby to get hurt so she chose baseball so you know I think mother knows best so she made the right choice. <laughs> you describe the influence your mother's had on your life? Oh yeah my mother had a, lot, a, a very big part of influence on my life of uh, uh, being a baseball player uh, being respectable and, and taught me the right way to you know to, to, to always strive for you know a high level always strive for the if you don't succeed you at least had a chance to Scrap at the highest level. Talking with Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson on the Rawhide pregame show. So the Athletics drafted you in the fourth round in 1976. What do you remember about that day when you were drafted? Oh, you know, it was very excited, you know, draft day, you know, because, you know, all the kids around, we, we all expected to get drafted out of school. And, you know, one of my best friends, Fred Atkin, you know, we was sort of one of the two top players on it, and we was both dreaming. We was going to a lot of camps and stuff and trying out, showing all the scouts what we can do, and we were just wishing and hoping that we got drafted. And, and all of a sudden, when I got drafted in, in the fourth round, you know, it was a dream come true, and then he followed right behind me in the seventh round with the Yankees. So, you know, it was, it was, it was two – Buddies that you know played the game on the on the concrete sidewalk and, and over and over, and then we did, had a chance to, to get drafted by a pro club. Of course, you played in the California League in 1977 with Modesto. You went 95 for 95 in <laughs> stolen base attempts that year. How many times did they come close to throwing you out that season? <laughs> I don't know how many times they came close. It was probably a lot of times they came close to throwing me out. But, you know, I had a very good uh, teacher. I had a very good uh, manager, coach, and, uh, uh, Tom Treblehorn. He, and he took the time out to, to, to each and every day to come out to show me different moves of what a pitcher can do to try to pick you up, what a move to, a pitcher to do to deliver the ball to play and how to get jumped. So, I, you know, I gave him a lot of credit that for the hard work and, he, and, and the dedication that he had inside of him to come out each and every day to help me uh, have success in the base stuff. Ricky Henderson's our guest on the Rawhide pregame show. Did you think you could be a Hall of Famer when you were that age? Did you believe you had that in you? I don't think we ever believed that we can be a Hall of Famer. I think we strive to be a, a, a complete ball player. We strive to, you know, as some of the greatest players that played in front of us, we strive to be right a shoes or trying to follow them in their footstep of what they was comfortable to do. But for us, dreaming that you can be a Hall of Famer, knowing that you're going to be a Hall of Famer, no, I never knew that I was going to be a Hall of Famer, but dreaming that you have the success to be in that category, yes. Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson continues to chat with us in the Rawhide pregame show. So you were finally called up to the big leagues in 1979. What was it like to finally step on that big league field for the first time? Uh, you know, it, it, was, it was a dream come true, you know, step on the field of business. See, when I went to spring training, you know, I, I worked so hard to go to spring training, I thought I made the club in spring training, and I was heartbreaking. 
<laughs> heartbroken. So, you know, when I was heartbroken over there, and then all of a sudden you go to AAA and you still had the mortality. That, you know, I, I was wanted to be one of the best. I wanted to be able to get to the big league. So you, you continue working hard, and I got a break. Uh, Dwayne Murphy, he broke his finger, and I, they got a call up that, you know, I could re replace him until he get back. And I'm saying just replace him to get back. So I say, if I ever go up there and I get in, I'm not coming back get down here. So, you know, it was one of them times when I got up there and then you have the <clears throat> the fans, the, the people that you grew up, the, the school kids and everybody that was around you because he was a hometown guy. So, you know, it was it was mainly that you was coming home. Right, you're and from then, Oakland. Yeah, you're from Oakland. So you was coming home and the, and the people was behind you to support. So it was a good feeling. <laughs> Of course, you went on to break the record for stolen bases in a career. Do you feel like you revolutionized the game with your aggressiveness? I think I made it a little bit more exciting. You know, I think the baseball was a little uh, dominated by the pitchers. You know, it was a little slow, seemed like a slow park game, and, 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 and people was trying to create stuff. What was that? We didn't have all the big time home run hitter. We had one or two here and there, but we didn't have the, the home run hitter that developed years later, but, you know, we had to scrap for runs, so I think when, you know, I got up and I started still in the base and in the side and moving and we started scoring some runs, and uh, I thought it just be, just changed the game or, or how about going to, in, 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 in manufacturing some runs.